Well, just imagine ordering takeout and receiving your delivery by drone. Uh, just imagine that pizza dropping from the sky. Drone delivery is already happening in Israel. This amazing innovation is part of what's being called the fourth industrial revolution. Chris Mitchell has more. These drones are completing a special mission as they land in Tel Aviv, delivering sushi from Japanica restaurant some seven miles away in Herzliya. You can see multi-drones taking off, doing delivery, coming back, land, finish the delivery process, everything autonomously. Drones could become the delivery vehicle of the future, even transporting ice cream or anything you want from the restaurant to your home. Alone Abelson is CEO and co-founder of Highlander, a drone and unmanned traffic management solution that helps keep skies safe for this growing technology. There is no pilot involved, no one is flying the drone, and you still need someone to make sure that the drone flying avoid collide between themselves, landing safely in the right location. These are among the first commercial drone deliveries in central Israel and the city of Tel Aviv. It's the third of eight stages expected to reach new heights over the next Next two years. It's being managed from the Ayalon Highways Control Center that's usually overseeing traffic on the ground. We started from zero flights two years ago, 700 flights in the first year, and now we're close to 9,000 flights. As part of Israel's Innovation Authority, Daniela Partem leads the center for the fourth industrial revolution. Our aim is to enlarge the ecosystem, so add more cities, more urban areas. In order for this to be an economically viable system, we would have to enable larger drones flying longer distances in order to deliver heavier goods to more areas. Joined by the Civil Aviation Authority and Ayalon Highways, the project is a collaboration between the government and 16 local and international companies. The various companies work together towards solutions in key areas, ranging from air traffic control and flying the drones to deliveries and security. Libby Bahat from the Civil Aviation Authority says he sees opportunities and challenges. We are a crowded country uh, in terms of airspace. We have high security needs. These are challenges, but I think we know how to approach them. Despite the challenges, Eyal Bilia from Ayalon Highways explains why drones are a good and timely idea. The lower airspace is unused today. So we're trying to open the lower airspace in order to deliver all kinds of goods and the deliveries from one place to another. And by that, we're going to reduce traffic. According to former General Yoeli Orr and current CEO of Can Do Drones, the Israeli military has been using this technology for 10 years. So we take it from the military side and adapt it for our needs in the civilian side. Working along with security and traffic control, Can Do can manage up to 250 drones at a time. We connect different drones from different companies, from different missions, to our system and we can turn them from one laptop. The founding members of Airways came from the Israeli Air Force. CEO Eyal Zor explains how these experts in airspace management make it all work. We are using advanced AI algorithms in order to manage a dynamic airspace of drones. We try to mimic the traditional aviation, like air traffic controllers and pilots, with our system in order to show that we can operate maximum number of drones in a dynamic urban city. Deliveries are currently limited to between businesses, given the need for a drone landing pad. The order is placed through an app, then prepared, loaded on the drone, flown to the delivery site, collected, and taken to the customer. Daniel Rahamim heads up Meshlocha, one of the most popular and fastest growing food delivery apps in Israel. Until now, Meshlocha relied on conventional delivery methods like scooters. As a technology company though, Rahamim says he's always looking to the future. We don't have any doubt that the next stage will be the drones because this is the best way, the fast way, the safe way to move things from one side to, to each other. Flytech is the aerial operator, and company vice president Yahav Price says the drones can transport a delivery weighing about four and a half pounds. This is the first time in Israel you can see this kind of project, which means the first time we fly drones with no eye contact through a computer, like another UAV. 
Though the demonstration focused on getting ice cream to waiting journalists, Price says the vision reaches much further than just food delivery. This is a, a platform to show that technology is there and safety is there. We want to provide much more important things to our to civilians, like big orders, machines and uh, medicines. Hospitals and medical facilities could be big winners with these deliveries, receiving life-saving materials quickly with no traffic jams. And consumers in the future will likely benefit in ways we haven't even imagined. Chris Mitchell, CBN News. Well, that's a side of Israel you don't see every day, but it's the startup nation. Uh, more companies on the stock markets, the NASDAQ, uh, I mean, they're, they're number three compared to the U.S. and Great Britain, and, and then comes Israel. Uh, it's amazing the innovation that is coming out of Israel and this drone technology using AI as a traffic control system, absolutely amazing.